3-2 on the way. Taken for a strike, and Renfro has gotten off to a good start here. Renfro gets the strike out there. She has two currently. Probably it was the winnable game that, you know, you expected them to win. Phillips shows bunt but takes it back and ends up striking out. So Ellen Renfro strikes out the side here in the first. But, you know, it can still do that. 3-2. Struck her out. So that is four batters, four strikeouts now for Ellen Renfro. Expect to win, but I think Lady Vols do a fairly good job of taking care of the opponents as Renfro gets another strikeout, her fifth on the day already. As that ball is hit deep by Brown going back as the left fielder done. But she can't get it because that is over the fence for a home run. Melissa Brown. You know, it gets them, gets them says the outfield playing very shallow here, especially a left. Perry is now sat down. I believe that is strikeout number six for Renfro. So one and two the count. Curtis swings and a miss. And so that will be another strikeout. Just sling box. Way to do it. Anyway, there are ways to watch this. That ball's ground up the middle. Great stop by Renfro. Fires over to first. Two away. The one two. The appeal down the first. Says she went. Strike three, so Ellen Renfro with another strikeout. That ball's ripped through the whole base hit. One hopper to the left fielder Breslin pair. That ball's hit hard. So two and two the count here. One away. That ball's ripped fair down the line. Into the corner. Diving effort by Perry, but she's not going to be able to stop Birchall from getting a double and driving home the run. Two nothing now. Lady Vols here in the fourth. And there's a few. Like we said, good crowd for a morning matchup. That ball is hit deep now by Akamine. Back to the wall. Looking up, that ball is gone. Home run for Hannah Akamine. And the Lady Vols now lead 4 to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth. home run felt really amazing. It gave me a very big confidence booster. The fact that Karen came out and talked to me right before that happened, um, it really helped me out to calm me down and give me a lot of confidence. Nine Hills, California. That ball is ripped down the left field line by Tarango. It looked like an off-speed pitch that she was able to stay in front of. He's the one who also will have scored a run this in or another run. That ball hits, hits Gibson. So that will bring in the run. She seems to be doing all right. Rips that ball into the gap and is going to get over the head of Cassie Dunn. One run is in. Two runs are in. They'll hold Gibson at third. Lady Vols pick up two more on the double by Madison Shipman and now lead 7 to nothing here in the fourth. The bullpen two throw a little bit. Keep her arm loose and warm. And that's another strikeout now for Ellen Renfro. Yeah, not worth it, buddy. Great job by Madison Shipman there on the reaching catch. Very nice softball save here. Right next door, we got the Regal Soccer Stadium as Ellen Renfro picks up another There's strikeout. Ten. There's 10 for her. That's 10 for her. Renfro set in the pitch. Swing and miss, strike three. Number 11. In both the fifth and the sixth as Renfro picks up yet another strikeout. Papers are starting to blow around the 2-1, grounded to short. Shipman handles it, fires the first, and that will do it. So the Lady Vols get the victory here by the score of 7 to nothing. Ellen Renfro goes the distance, allowing only one hit and no runs. Lady Vols score seven on eight hits, including six in the fourth.